What's up, YouTube? I am Particle Games, and today I am here to show you this map editor I have been working on. I'm really excited to make this video. I've been working on this for a while. This is not quite done yet. Um, I still have a list of things on my iPod Notes app. Yes, I use that. I still have a list of things to get done in there, but I, f I feel like I'm far enough to long to make a little video here. So here it is, as you can see. Right away, there's uh, an introduction window, and it asks you to enter the width and well. It's, here, here's what it says. It says, "Welcome to my map editor. You can enter width and height of a new map, uh, and then you can type 50. Ooh, not 150. 15 by 15. And then it says, or you can open an existing map, but that is not working yet. Uh, <laughs> it'll probably get done soon. Hopefully, no promises, but." I plan to implement that, but as I said, no promises. So here we are, and you can scroll around using the arrow keys, and of course, the map can't go off the screen. It goes like that far. So I'll put this back here. And then there's three tools, look to that later. And then, obviously, this this is the current tool, or the cool, excuse me, oh my gosh. What am I even saying? This is the current tile that we have here. And you can select that using the scroll wheel or just by clicking these. And if there were more tiles, you could scroll through them, but it only goes to that. It goes to the last tile. And so I guess we can make a little map here. Just place some dirt here. Uh, a little grass here. Sort of like a little Mario style game, if you know what I mean. And then let's go here and there, and it's it works pretty well, especially the ti the tile placement. It's I haven't had any errors with that in a long time. It's it's working pretty well. I, I guess I could just say that. And then this is the eraser tool. Oh, and I, I kind of blew through it. I, <laughs> I have a little story here. This is like my seventh take, because hopefully this works, because if, if this doesn't work, I'm not going to try again. I have other stuff I have to get done. But this is like my seventh take, because the audio would cut me off, and actually the audio still does. It's it's terrible audio. This is a terrible microphone. I need a new one. It kind of stutters, so I decided to make a new one, and I deleted that, and of course emptied my recycle bin. I don't, I'm so stupid. I don't know why I do that. Uh... So, where was I? I'm rambling. I know I'm rambling. Oh yeah, this is like my seventh take. <laughs> so, I'm pretty frustrated. I'm trying to stay as happy as possible, but... So I'm, I'm just kind of messing around with this, showing you how the tile placement works. It's like an enclosed room. Little stairs. Oops. See, it, it works pretty nice. My graphics don't look very nice. All my games... Hang on. Let me open a new one. All my games that I've made have terrible graphics and no sound. So if I ever make a video in the future um, and the game has terrible graphics and no sound, you know why. Because I am not an artist by any means. And I don't like using open assets because I feel like someone else is making the game for me. I don't know why I feel like that. I wish I didn't, honestly. But So, as you can see, you can make multiple map sizes. So, you can just make like a little thing. I guess that's good for now. And uh, this tool right here, you can actually cl click on it, as you can see. But, it... I... Where should I start? I had it kind of working, but it was super buggy. This is a warp tool, by the way. You could click on it, and then you click here, and a window would pop up, and it would say, click on another spot to, uh, click on another spot to, uh, what am I even saying? Let me gather my thoughts here. Uh, you click on a spot, and then an alert window, like a message, pop up, 
and it would say click on another spot for the warp to go to and then you just hit OK and you click on another spot then everything would just break loose at that point all sorts of bad stuff would happen it was a terrible system terrible programming practices I it was all my fault too so I deleted all that code I just have the image here you can't even select it anymore even though that's just another image but I hope to get that working soon it shouldn't take too long. I have a better system planned out using, of course, a note system on my iPod. So I think that's it, guys. Um, it's not. This obviously isn't quite done yet. By the way, I don't even know if I mentioned this. This is all C++ and SDL with no external libraries. I wish I used a different library than SDL. I didn't feel like learning a new library at the time, but now I'm completely open. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.